Okay, this this figure is very familiar to us right now, right? How the coronavirus, and this whatever I'm whatever I'm showing you is also just like the way we have Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. The way the so much of fluency that we have on the mantra, so much of these details also we have on COVID-19, right? What is it? How it comes? And what are the dangers of it? So we are all aware of it. So let's see. Before I jump into the topic, then you'll know why I'm talking about this. There are already 1.34 million people who have died in the last 10 months. These are the ones whom we know that they have died out of COVID. There could be many, many more in villages and rural parts of the world where nobody even knows that they have caught COVID. Because not every dead person in this world is getting COVID test. So you can imagine this figure could have been much more than two, three million people dying in 10 months. So you can imagine how many people are dying per month. So it is not a simple thing. And if you see the number of people who got forlorn, forlorn is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a term used when an employer sends you on an unpaid leave or he almost basically removes you from job. There are so many millions of people who lost job in United Kingdom, millions of people who lost job in Germany, millions of people who lost job in Italy, millions of people who lost in France, and so many, so many people have lost job in UAE also. So many who have lost jobs in India also. Today, in the morning, I was there. Uh, yesterday, I was in a very long meeting with one of our ex Damodar Desh devotee who was there in the beginning days. Uh, I don't think none of you would have known him. I don't want to name his, this person. He was in a very long chat with me and he needed some immediate financial help which somehow by the grace of Krishna that I could do it. And because he lost his job, uh, his, his daughter lost his job for seven months there in Delhi and they're in a very desperate situation. And if, if, if I had not sent him that money, probably they wouldn't have had enough money to cook also from next month and he was literally crying for what is what they are going through so the matter is serious not only in terms of health wise it has also caused a lot of people a lot of discomfort so you can imagine in these countries if millions of jobs are lost what is going to happen to these people or what kind of a burden countries will have to pay them dole because in these countries if we don't have a job government has to pay them money and who pays for it? All of us in the world have to pay directly or indirectly. So please, please, please listen to what I say in the next slide. First and foremost, please do not forget that virus is gone. Just because you see people in the malls, just because you people happy, smiling faces outside, please don't think the virus is very, very, very much there and even in UAE. Currently, in the country that where we live, almost 1.7 people testing are turning out to be positive, and it's a very high number. Okay. And fatalities are not high, agreed. But inconvenience factor to the immediate family and contact person is too much. Suppose if I get positive today, suppose tomorrow, every two weeks I go for testing in my office, it's a compulsory. If I de test get tested positive, I hope I have not, but if I, there are at least, I know, I have to contact at least 20 people. Apart from those people I am touching in the office, that is a different issue. At least 20 of the people who are in this region, I have to immediately call them and tell them to go for a test. And that 20 will have to call, count their members. So 20 into at least each family, if we have at least two more people in the house, there are, so the 20 means, 20 into 20 into 20. So many people have to go and each one of us have to pay through our nose 250 dirhams for our testing. Because you have come on my con you have even come in contact with me in the last 10 days. I'm just telling 20, it could be figure can be more than that. So so much of inconvenience to you, and then you have to take a leave or sometimes work from home or sometimes unpaid leave, and and it is too much. Too much, and the story is going on. So that's why have a policy for at least few months, no visiting houses, even for festivals and spiritual programs. Again, I repeat and end with please, 
please do not take it light. You will probably see a very hard message coming from Shivala Prabhu in a couple of days because we had a very long meeting today uh, on this topic, uh, on not only on this topic, several other topics, but this topic was one of the main topics. Do not give in to emotions and sentiments. Uh, so I should not get into emotion if uh, such Shashimukhi Mataji calls us for dinner and says, Prabhu, you do long time, you have not come, we need to spend, we need to have association. I feel bad if you don't come, sorry. You may feel bad, but uh, in, in order for me to make you not feel bad more, I, we will not come. I'm not only saying myself, each one of you also have to say, please do not go in, get into emotions and sentiment. It is not the time for us to get emotions and sentiments yeah, to play with us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just taking the example of <laughs> Shashimukhi Mataji. Uh, apologies, uh, but uh, I'm telling you for all of us. And please note, please note, as of today, as I'm speaking, some of our DDA members have recently been tested positive and they're in quarantine. Their names are not getting out for some reason, for a particular reason, but there are some people who, for whatever reason, they, they were taking precautions, but they are tested positive. So again, repeat, some of our, our own DDW members have recently been again tested positive. So this is a second wave. In the month of April, May, June, we had seen some cases. There was a lull when people were in, following everything pr properly. Now we somehow are getting relaxed and we got into again an issue. So again, I, I don't want to tell the names. I should not tell the names, but it is fact. And we had a meeting today. Okay. Please, please, please do not compare. This is the biggest problem. And I had, we have been receiving calls and mentoring people and coaching people over the last weekend wednesday I, I lost about an hour thursday i i lost about two hours on a telephone call mm -hmm. with a devotee who's who's getting so disturbed and having fights with his wife and he, he he has come to a stage then he's praying to krishna please give me coronavirus if i get coronavirus if i see if, if i suffer then only my wife will see me suffer and then only she will understand Otherwise, she's, she's telling that this Mataji is not, uh, this Mataji is going to Govardhan Puja, that Mataji is going to Dhamadarati. Why you are not allowing me to do? Uh, see, we are, this, we are only going for a devotional program. Krishna will protect us. Uh, you are controlling us and that kind of thing. I'm only just taking the example of Matajis. It could be opposite also. There could be some Matajis who want to be strict, but whereas Prabhus are not strict. Please, it is not a time to compare. We have our own lives to protect. If we protect our lives, if we protect ourselves, we can protect others. Please do a comparison at any time is very bad. And during this time, it is horrible. In my opinion, if I want to strongly put, this is absolute madness and irresponsibility. If if I say that, okay, uh, uh, now I'll take the example of, say, Santa Gopeshwar Prabhu. Is there? Santa Gopeshwar Prabhu is there on the call today? Or, yes, or was Santa, Okay. Santa Gopeshwar Prabhu's Mataji went somewhere. So uh, what is the problem? Santa Gopeshwar Prabhu is also going. I will also go. Uh, because yeah, otherwise, if I don't go, he, people think that he's a good devotee because he's going and spreading Krishna consciousness. If I do that, I am in absolute madness and I am being horribly irresponsible to myself and people around me. Why I'm telling this strict is, again, I go back to this above point. Some of our DDY members have been recently tested positive. Please, please do not forget this and do not compare yourself some people we are a big congregation there are always five to ten percent of people who there are some people who think who, who always want to flout rules but it is their habit others are much more they by habit they will always flout rules. they don't want to follow a, a thing there are some people who want to flout rules because they want to show themselves that they're senior devotees because i'm senior i don't have to listen i have my own way why should i listen so by doing that, they want to they want to show indirectly, subtly tell others that I have my own rules. I don't have to bother about it. So we don't have to compare with those great people, great devotees who want to flout the rules for flouting sake or flouting rules for habit sake. We do, we should not get into that circle. We should have our own intelligence and consciousness, and it's not a time to compare. 
if if you free if you find somebody irresponsibly behaving you ignore them don't follow them or or you can always all, always reach me or shivala prabhu directly do not hesitate it is not a time to hesitate and hide it's a time to open up and even if it even if it means that uh, we may become unpopular it is the service that we have to do for ourselves and for our devotees just now we heard a topic of devotee care means cow care we also have to care for our devotees and if we have to become unpopular while doing it so be it we may be unpopular but we'll be popular with krishna so please uh, please note this point and please be patient for few more months hopefully uh, things will improve uh, this is a very very important message i am not i am telling i am not feeling happy to tell this please don't think that i am doing a moral policing on you i am just i sometimes you know when when something when something hits you hard when something that you cannot tolerate only way you can you can reduce your stress by telling it to others right so only in that mood only i am telling and otherwise i don't have to tell i am not a moral police it is not my habit to do a moral policing i have never ever done it but i feel that <coughs> this some some responsibility of some people boils me so much <coughs> that i have to tell and today i also have talked about to shivala prabhu about some other devotee with whom about his whose program i had a serious objection so i had to openly tell him prabhu that you have to openly tell and talk about this otherwise people do not listen uh, so shivala prabhu did agree i think he he would he is going to send a message so, so please forgive me if you feel hurt about my tone and uh, tenor but i request you to be serious it's a serious matter it's a serious matter and it's a serious matter like we say that right uh, uh, what is that hare nama hare nama hare nama eva kevalam kalau naste eva naste eva naste eva gatiranida so if somebody is telling three times that means it is it is something to introspect it is something that we need to be serious about ourselves and our society and people around us so at least as far as our bhakti ruksha is concerned at least uh, let's try to be uh, abiding this principle so that we can ourselves go back to shrivala prabhu and say see here is a unit which is understanding which is caring which is caring themselves which is caring the devotees and which is which is which is behaving in a rule and a format that you are asking the congregation to behave let's be a role model group but as i am saying today maybe tomorrow you will come to know that i may have i am also tested positive but for sure even if i get tested positive my mind is clear that to extend possible i myself did not do anything irresponsible i am going to the office i i went to the hospital twice in the last two one week because of my wife for some other thing so when i am visiting those vulnerable places probably i would have caught somewhere but at least i am i can be sure that i am not irresponsibly i went somewhere else to get this so kindly be aware of this and again once again uh, very very humbly seek forgiveness if i had hurt you or, or caused you any anxiety or anxious moments by talking like this it's not my nature to talk like this but i am forced to do this because i, I see uh, I, i see a great risk in what people are doing are krishna any a few questions and then we can move to the next topic any questions comments hari krishna prabhu hari krishna uh prabhu uh, just wanted to share i mean i totally agree with you prabhu and uh, this is this is actually very serious for since february we had been at home and we uh, we are actually following that strict guidelines uh, having said that there, there will still be a risk but yes uh, as you rightly said prabhu we have to be very responsible uh, i wanted to share that uh, one of my shiksha gurus my first shiksha gurus uh, nita nateshwar das from abu dhabi his mother in law passed away two weeks back because of covid so this is very serious and his wife had to fly down uh, and she got covid her father got covid her sister got covid and her sister was supposed to be uh, marriage uh, get married in the month of january just just two months far and in this in new situation i mean they had been taking care uh, but for shopping just for shopping they went out they did some shopping she contacted covid and she passed away so uh, we can understand how bad the situation how the uh, family members have to suffer so yes prabhu just wanted to share that so we have to be 
careful while uh, we being uh, we have to be ourselves careful and at the same time i guess prabhu we have to be little empathetic in the sense uh, we have to understand probably we may not be uh, so worried but we have to understand others may be little worried or they may be little cautious so probably we may we may go around touching things but probably we should we should not try to force someone into this particular action that that is what i would like to share prabhu thank you prabhu hari krishna thank you hari krishna anyone wants to share something sir sir prabhu ji uh, how to say it is correct and you don't have to be so or you got polite polite in saying this prabhu ji you know i think this is your obligation and uh, uh, you have a right to say to us so what you said is absolutely perfect and uh, we are thankful that you are saying this so that uh, at least we are not uh, responsible to the extent that we are supposed to be actually to be to be very frank you know so by by discussing this topic uh, i think our awareness and our uh, uh, how do you call uh, severity of the of the problems we come to know and we really will be more responsible for, uh, about this matter you know you did this in the beginning also when the covid started that time also i think you 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 uh, talking help us to be more responsible and today what you said is also very nice and we, we are, it's, it's going to we are going to be more responsible after this you know so thank you so much for sharing your thought and uh, i thank you for this very good so we'll move to the next topic uh, now next topic is a good topic uh, is a different topic because uh, this topic is uh, about krishna